Hey you guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a leopard gecko tank. So, what you're going to want to do is get your heating pad. I would recommend an under the tank feeder, but for what I use, I just use a regular human heating pad from Walmart. Find out where um, the warm side of your tank is. Set that down. And you can do what I'm about to do in one of two ways. What I'm about to do is put the tank up. But if you have a baby leopard gecko, I would suggest doing it the way I'm doing it. If you have a full grown adult, you can do it like you can do it a different way. You can set it straight up and down if you have a legitimate aquarium and not an exoterra. If you have an exoterra, then it's kind of self-explanatory how to set, how to put that up. But, grab the tank. Put it up there. Sorry, Oreo. That had to be loud. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I know that fell on your hide. I know it. Don't be mad at me. Hey. Don't freak out, little dude. But, um, what I do is I get my tank put it on the heat mat either half to three-fourths of the tank on the heat mat just like this that's what I do at least I turn it on the side if it's an aquarium so that it is like so wait let me get this going like if it's an aquarium, I turn it on its side like that. I already have my eco earth in. You probably won't have your eco earth in. But if you. I'm just doing that for video purposes. Do not have a light. I promise you, it's very bad for them. But you have to put eco earth in next. Depending on how big the lip is. Make sure the Eco Earth layer is not too thick that it's going to go over this lip. Otherwise, you're going to get Eco Earth everywhere. But once you have your Eco Earth in there, spread it out. Darn it. I am a professional filmer. Once you have it filled out like you want to. Hey Oreo, he's climbing on my foot or my leg. Once you have it filled out like you want to, go ahead and get your... You have to have three hides. One. Wait. Okay. One moist hide. Stick your moist hide wherever you're going to stick it. Normally, I stick it in the middle. Actually, what I do before I do any of that is, just for looks, and plus he really likes it, I put bamboo in there. pieces in the back. I don't know why, but my gecko loves bamboo. Once you have that done, you're going to want to put your hides in. Moist hide. Your warm side hide. Which I normally put Oh, what you have to put over the heat mat. 
you shouldn't have a cricket in yours, but I do. So I'm just going to leave that. <clears throat> and then you need to have your cold side hide. So if they get too hot on the warm side hide, they can go to the cold side hide. <laughs> it's kind of self-explanatory. But once you have that done, you're going to want to get your water bowl, which for a quick demonstration, I mean, I have to do it anyway because I hadn't cleaned and gave them fresh water yet today. So, what you do have to replace your water every day. You're going to have to have a water bowl. Still water in that. Use spring water that's not chlorinated. Go ahead and pour that into your thing. Once that's poured in, you're going to want to find a place for your water bowl. I'm going to put my water bowl here. And since the water bowl is there, you're going to want to do the calcium bowl, which I have Eco Earth all in right now. Thank you a lot, Oreo. You're going to want to replace the calcium if that's happened, which it probably hasn't since you're looking up videos on how to put or how to make a leopard gecko tank. You're going to re want to replace that. Okay. Once you have the um, calcium in, which I would recommend no D3, because that's what I have. Calcium no D3. Don't put a lot because they just go up and lick it. They don't consume it much. They just need this tiny little bit in this cap. Find a place where you want to put this. I'm going to put it right here. I like to bury it and make it look a little bit nicer. And then there you have it. There's your leopard gecko tank. Next thing you're going to need is, of course, the leopard gecko. And you're going to want to go ahead and put him in there. Him or her. I'm not assuming your gecko's gender. Let him go where he wants to. They'll explore. He's just going to go right back into that hive. He likes going through the back entrance. See? But that's how you set up a leopard ginkgo tank. If you guys did enjoy, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell down below to get notified when I post more. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, bye. Hopefully this helped you learn a little bit.